Hello folks. Been a while, hasn't it? Not a normal start. Ah, oh, you can't really just come and jump straight in, can you? In fact, to be truthful, that's what I'm kind of here doing. Been a while, folks, to be perfectly honest, and don't want to dwell on it. But you guys who've been around with me for a while, well, you've seen me deal with a few problems over the years, you know, and bounce back and that sort of stuff. I decided it's enough of dealing with problems, let's get them dealt with. Yeah, and so I had to take a step back, properly get things squared away, if you know what I mean. And yeah, I'm here and I'm back in the saddle and I've got a smile on my face. So yes, things are, things are good guys, things are really good, but I'll be honest with you, I've struggled coming back to the channel. Yeah, it's... It's with the break, to be truthful. I mean, you know what it's like when you've had a a long break from a group of friends or, you know what I mean, the people you hang out with and then reconnecting with them. And I'll be honest with you guys, you know, I tried to do this video a few times, to be perfectly honest, and I haven't really got there. You know, thought about starting Let's Makes and, oh, perhaps we do vlogs and do that sort of stuff. And eh, it just... They just didn't go. And I was sort of like, I didn't know how to come back to the channel, if you know what I mean. Yeah, and so I've been in the studio, I've been pottering, I've been doing some bits and I just thought I'd switch the camera on and just talk to you guys, to be perfectly honest. And so here I am, just trying to reconnect. So, I'm not going to say like it or support me on Patreon or anything like that. I'm just going to say, if you're glad to see me back, yeah, and you want to have a nap and you want more terrain vids, yeah, then talk to me in the comments because I think that's what I'm looking for. I'm just looking to reconnect with you guys, yeah, like we used to. Now, of course, it's all about the terrain, which is what I'm up to right now. Yeah, and I'm just doing a little project. So, tell you what. Now I've got over that intro and actually got a smile on my face. Let me clean the filler off my hands. Yeah, let me set up a, a shot over here. Let me show you what I'm doing, guys. And here we are, the infamous death shot. Now, I've just quickly reviewed that first bit of footage and yeah, I need to work on my camera settings and camera positions, but I'm not re-recording it because I'm happy with that intro. It's a good start. Right, so what am I up to? I'm back on the Burma Road, guys. I've had an idea and I'm having a play and it's just something just to help me get back into it. And what I'm basically trying to do is I'm trying to build up some banks on my road so I can build up some heavy foliage. And I thought, oh, let's get use a bulking loop for that. A bulking loop? A bulking loop is a mixture of things that, bulk, that when applied, bulk out. And in this particular one, I've got bulls. Lots and lots of little bulls. Yeah, and what I mean by that is, yeah, I'm running with these. Yeah, polystyrene bowls. And all I've done, yeah, is five parts bowls, five parts filler, one part PVA, and you end up with this. I've got to get used to these camera angles again, guys, but you end up with this slodge. Yeah, let me get that in front of you. There we go. I'll get there. And basically, the filler and the PVA holds it together and shapes it, but it's incredibly lightweight. Yeah, but rather bulky, as you can see. And so what it allows me to do is to put blobs down not like that. Yeah, a little bit, run a little bit of water over them. And they're making the foundations of the banks. And the benefit of this is I'm not putting a load of filler or anything bulky, which it, as it dries, it's going to contract and then I might get warping issues. Yeah. Also, I'm not adding, if I'd use paper, that's it's still going to end up quite bulky. And it's going to add some weight to it. Whereas with its polystyrene balls, it doesn't. Now, I don't know how the audio came off on that because I've still got to remember my mic's in front of me. We'll get there. But I'm enjoying this. Right, so, there's my buzz. Right, here's one I've pre-balled, yeah? And so, let me quickly show you what I'm doing, yeah? And in infamous words, you can guarantee, since this is my first terrain-type video back, 
Yeah. It's gonna mess up. So, I've got my burrs. I've missed this. Right, yeah, I'm just gonna wedge them down. And all I'm gonna do is just put them roughly where I want them. That's because they ain't gonna stick after it's covered. They just ain't. So don't even try. Yeah, just put them roughly where you want the blobs. Don't try and get them in position perfectly the first time, because trust me, yeah, it don't it don't want to do that. It just don't want to do it. It's not playing. Yeah, let's put that there. Get off my fingers, you git. And we'll put some more there, because that, that looks quite cool. Yeah, so once I've got them roughly in position, yeah, wet my fingers with a little bit of water. It's always wetter when it's better. It's all better when it's wetter. I can't even remember my techniques anymore, guys. There we go. Yeah, and all I'm doing is just using the water because what the water's doing is it's stopping these balls sticking to my fingers and sort of pulling the, the sort of pile away. Now there is a bit of PVA in there. Yeah, so I'm not just relying on the filler to sort of hold things down and hold them in place. The PVA will help them bond. And then afterwards, once these are bonded, I'm gonna come in, I've got another idea I wanna try. Yeah, to sort of get a really hard texture on the road and help it prevent it warping whilst texturing it up. But I can't do that till we've got the blobs in. So as you can see, what I'm basically doing is just coming along, yeah, wetting my fingers, two fingers. Yeah, I'm just sort of padding it either side. The water's stopping the ball sticking to my fingers. Yeah, and I can just easily manipulate it and it just helps it all come together. Remember, on the actual road itself, these are going to end up as like little banks. Yeah, so we're going to have foliage in these and, you know, jungle foliage. Because it's the big Burma build. I think I may have put that clump in the wrong place. Let's move that up to there. Yeah, don't stick to my fingers, you git. So, yeah. Give it a little tap, a little bit of water just to blend it. A little bit there. As long as you use the water, yeah, it won't stick to your fingers. If you don't use the water, when you tap it down, you'll lift it off. Right, and so, there you go guys. Those are my mounds on. Looking good. I've just got to continue this with this now. Right. Let's go for the long shot. Now I should have moved the camera position and my, the top of my head shouldn't be disappearing from the screen. The audio should be a little bit better because I'm, I'm getting in there, I've reviewed the video. We're getting there guys. Right, I am gonna tell you now that if you want to see how this turns out, you're not gonna see it in this video. Yeah, That's because the purpose of this video isn't to share the terrain technique, it's to connect with you guys. And in that spirit, I'm not doing this as a quick tutorial. I'm doing this as sort of like a, a reconnection vlog. And what I mean by that is, well, this is my Burma Road. I'm going to be working on little bits of this over the next week or so. And so I'm going to do a lot of, a few little videos just to sort of get me back into filming with you guys. You know, get me, you've already seen, yeah, I need to get you to angles and all that. I, the passion's here, the smile's here, the terrain's here. I've tried to figure out the technical stuff, and you know what I'm like with technical stuff. <laughs> yeah, so, if you want to see how the blobs turn out, you're going to have to keep your eye out for another video coming real soon. In the meantime, guys, listen, like it if you really have liked it, because that will really help other subscribers on the channel suddenly get this in their feed. So liking and commenting on this video is really good. And of course, if you really do like me being back, there's Patreon and links down below and all that sort of stuff. But more importantly, talk to me guys. Yeah, because I've missed you. Right, I ain't gonna do the normal sort of, because I'll end up with a white streak across my face. And I've probably got filler on my face anyway, and I've got to play with my balls. Yeah, so you have a good one, guys, and I'll see you soon. All the best, yeah? ta -da.